Now, I want to make my header text responsive like my uh, videos and my, my image. But the problem is, is that there's no way for us to make uh, the size of our font respond to the width of the browser. I mean, because if we were to define um, a, a, a font size in percentages to our, our header or any other text element, basically that's going to be, uh, that percentage is going to be against the default size of whatever that font is sized, right? So, I mean, for example, 100%, if we set P to be 100%, that would be 16 pixels, um, potentially even H1. I think uh, if we just give it a test right now, we go H1, uh, what is it, uh, font size 100%. It's a hundred. It makes it smaller because now it's 16 pixels. It's a hundred percent of the default size. So um, clearly, our our capabilities with CSS is limited uh, as far as this goes. So we're gonna have to go beyond that and find uh, more than likely a JavaScript that can change our CSS based on the width of our browser. So um, I found a CS a Java script plugin to do just that. But before I go on, let me start by getting the text aligned the way I want it to. And I just want to go text align and I'm going to keep it to the center so that when I refresh it, there it is. It's right at the center. Okay. Now, let me find what I was looking for. And I'm looking for this fit text. And I actually found this through Chris's website uh Chris from CSSTricks.com. I know he had a part in making this thing. And what I like about fit text is that, check this out. Now, if I take these and I copy it, look, it, it's actually fit text. So this is um, real life text going on in here. But when I stretch my screen, you see how it fits it all the time. Cool. So this is what I want because I want my text to look the same through all these cool devices. Um, let me start by downloading it on GitHub. Uh, here we go. jQuery fit text. Um, let's see. All right. We'll copy that and I will create a new document and save this stuff here. Let me make sure I name it what it should be named and yeah, that's jQuery.fit text. Um, all right, I'll just name it right there, jQuery.fit text.js. Very good. Save it. Now let's figure out how we need to implement this thing. I'm sure there's some directions over here. Example, here we go. Just that. Um, this, all this CSS over here looks pretty normal to me. Um, I'm assuming that I just need to. Oh, look at this. Well, I'll tell you what. This is telling me right here, this is jQuery syntax, so, uh, and I see jQuery over here, so I know that I need to um, find, I need to include jQuery in here as well. And let me double check this link that he's using in this CDN. Uh, okay, just current version is jQuery 7.1.2. So I'm just going to go straight back to his example. And I can just straight up copy and paste these two uh, lines of code into mine because I know I need to include jQuery and the fittext.js. So I'm going to do just that. Um, let me put them, actually, let me put them at the bottom of my page because um, that's where all the magic of CSS, uh, that's where you ought to be putting your JavaScripts. Um, if they work down there, some of them won't, and that's uh, that's because it'll allow your page to load up first before it starts executing your JavaScript code. So, all right, we'll leave that there. Um, and it seems that all it's doing really is 
according to this, this is uh, an ID that I'm going to create on my own, and then I, at the very least, just have to add this to it to target the fit text. So uh, there seems like there's some extra options I could include too, and some kind of numeric value, but let me just see if I could at least get it to work. So uh, I'm going to copy this script just like so, and um, I clearly need to edit it for my own uses. I just paste it in there. I, I don't have, I could get rid of these other two lines. Um, and I wonder, you know what? Why even bother putting an ID on there? Maybe I could just target the H1 specifically. Although, uh, well, let's see. We're either going to have to target the H1 or the header itself. Um, maybe I'll just refresh it. And did it work? Oh, that was too easy. Very cool. And now it responds to the width of my browser. I like it. I like this plugin. Uh, very easy to use. And, uh, you know, I had, you know, I'm adding a little weight to my page to do this by adding jo uh, the jQuery. But honestly, jQuery is pretty, uh, pretty light. That doesn't bother me much. Um, now let's see. Oops, I closed the fit text. Now, of course, there's uh, other options in fit text that you may want to use. Um, it seems that I could probably make mine uh, a little bit wider um, to fit it closer. Uh, and I wonder what this 1.1, uh, well, you know, you could kind of start messing around with it, but probably the better thing to do is to check out the README page and it'll tell you uh, exactly how to use this thing. You know, sometimes I I get annoyed with the documentation because I feel like people make crappy documentation, so I just go straight to their uh, example code so I could see what that's like. So, uh, But let's look real quick. It says fit text and it has a number. This will hopefully give you a level of control that may not be pixel perfect. Um, so without any value, I get what I get, but what if I do 0.5? That seems extreme. Maybe it'll give me some results. Bam. Okay, 0.5 makes it bigger. And if I do 1.5, going the opposite way, okay, it makes it smaller, right? So I think uh, I want to go somewhere like 8.8. .8. Yeah, to get it to fit right almost a full width and I could probably even go to my main and take out any margin zero padding zero because I see something's messing around with that there we go yeah, maybe I'll put margin 1 em that may be a lot Ooh, what was I thinking point 0.1 em there we go just give it a little breathing room in there and very nice very nice um, of course, this fit text.js has a, has a couple more options over there, including setting a minimum and maximum font size if uh, that's appropriate for your implementation. But for me, I am pretty happy with what I have. Um, bam. Nice.